Hello, everybody. My name is Jeremy Fuchs with the Harmony Email and Collaboration Team over at Checkpoint Software Technologies. I want to talk to you today about a new attack that we're noticing that involves Google Looker Studio. Google Looker Studio is a data visualization tool that anybody can use to upload any sort of data and it uh, transforms it into a visually appealing package. And what hackers are doing are utilizing the way that Google works to send you phishing messages. What do we mean by that? So when somebody mentions you in a Google Doc or a Google Looker Studio visualization or a Google Sheet, or they share it with you via Google's tools, it goes to your inbox from an email address that is Google. The email is coming directly from Google. You'll see here that it says looker-studio-no-reply at google.com. That is a Google address, a Google domain. It is legitimate and there is nothing wrong with it. You will see here a Google page, what this Google uh, note does from somebody who wrote in Google Looker Studio is saying, hey, you know, we're a crypto platform. You signed up for our, our service. You haven't logged in in a while. In order to keep with the you know, impressive returns that we're seeing, we need you to log in now. So if you see, they have included a lookerstudio.google.com link. Now, this is legitimate. And in the past, when you received emails like this, it might spoof Google. This is an important difference. When it spoofs Google, it might be google.com with an extra O or an extra G, or the URL could be completely different, but the page looks exactly like Google. Here it is Google. It is actually coming from Google. The call is coming from inside the house. So when you click on this link, you go to this page. Again, let's show you here the lookerstudio.google.com. This is a Google page. What they've done is created a slideshow, essentially, where they have put in a link to say, hey, if you want this balance, right? If you wanna keep getting your balance and keep getting these impressive returns, you have to click here. Now, what happens when you click here? Look what changes. This is not a Google link anymore, right? So it goes from a Google link to a non-Google link. So they're using the Google lures and the Google legitimacy and the trust that comes within Google to get you to do something that you might not do otherwise if the URL was off or if the page design was completely crazy. Once you go in here, it's going to then take you to a following page. And this is where they're going to steal your account information to either get your crypto account or your Google account or practically anything else they might want. But again, look at the URL here. Now we are outside of Google's domain. So Google is not the attack vector here. It is the springboard for the attacks to happen. When you get an email, from Google, your security service is not going to stop it most likely because it comes from Google. Google is safe, Google is legitimate. Uh, there's nothing wrong with Google here. When you as the end user sees this email, you're gonna see all the typical cybersecurity hygiene that you might do. You're gonna say, all right, well, the sender address, this is legitimate. And then, well, this is Google and, and here's a Google link. And when I click on Google link here, there's gonna be no web browser security here because Again, lookerstudio.google.com, right? So all of these things are designed to get you to trust and to click on these things. We call these attacks business email compromise 3.0. The reason we do that is because these are not spoofs. These are legitimate Google services being used for phishing attacks. And once here, here's the continue learn more button. Once you press that, it goes to this page and this page will eventually lead you to this page and that will take you to uh, them stealing your account information. We have seen attacks like this in Google Looker Studio, Google Docs, Google Comments, Google Slides, practically any Google service. And we've written a number about them on our site. Uh, we've notified Google and are working with them on this issue. But what we're seeing here is not Google being hacked, but Google rather being used sort of as an unwitting springboard for future attacks that happen outside of the Google ecosystem.